Hey guys, ready for a field trip? In this episode of Sex Really, we go to New York City for a little lesson on sex toy shopping. Hi, this is Lena Chen. Welcome to Sex Really, your honest, wacky, and uncensored guide to everything going on in the bedroom. Keeping it real under the sheets, one episode at a time. If the idea of buying your first sex toy fills you with fear and doubt, come with us as we visit Babeland, where one of their experts will talk to us about the ins, outs, and hows of finding your next bedroom companion. So what we usually recommend for people who are buying a first time buy a creator is to try to give yourself as many different options as you can with the toys so you can really explore what you like. So it would be good to have different intensities and different pulsation patterns. There is acrylic, which is easy to clean plastic material. It's non-porous. We also have hand-blown glass. So these are really beautiful. I think they're lovely enough to just be on display anywhere. I don't know if everyone will know what they are. But they can be used for good G-spot stimulation or P-spot stimulation. What's good about this is that sometimes people need a much firmer G-spot or P-spot stimulation. A product like this one will be able to hit against the G-spot and give more stimulation. A very popular toy that was on Sex in the City is called the Rabbit. This one simulates you inside and outside at the same time. It'll bend here and then turn. So it'll be able to hit against your G-spot. Most of them come with beads that will go around the entrance of the vaginal opening. And then this little bunny here vibrates. So not just the ears, but the nose and body as well. This one is made out of elastomer. Elastomer is a good material to use on your vibrator. Another good option would be silicone. Silicone is non-porous so it's easy to clean. These materials are a lot better than other materials like jelly rubber, and a jelly rubber can pit and come apart over time and it won't be as durable. Sometimes people think that vibrators are just for female body persons, but they can also be used on the penis. Another popular toy, and it's only one of its kind, is called the Levi. And what this does is it would slip in internally and hit against the G-spot, and then the outside would hit against the clitoris. What's unique about this toy is it can actually be used for penetrative sex, so that both the wearer and the giver can feel the vibration. A new toy that's out in the market is called the Squeal. It has these little vibrating or rotating tongues. And it feels and stimulates oral sex. So it doesn't necessarily vibrate, but it's a good toy. And what I like about this toy is not only can it be used on the vulva, but it can also be used on the chest of the penis, it can be used around the anus, and it's also silicone, and it comes apart easily to wash it. Hope that makes the idea of going sex toy shopping a little less intimidating. Check out sexreally.com for more on healthy relationships and sexuality. If you have feedback on this episode, share your questions and your advice in the comments. All the products featured in this episode can be found at babeland.com.